it's me once again. And today's video is always going to be about being an introvert. So for those who don't know, I'm an introvert, one of the biggest introverts. I don't go out, I don't answer my phone. I just avoid all social contact, like that's it. I don't know, like I kind of been like this all my life, but not really all my life. Growing up I had like more of a social life than I do now, but I was still like, I was still quiet, you know. As I got older, I started realizing that I appreciated my, my space, my alone time, and quietness. And then I started to realize that being around people was like a fucking headache. Like, you know, I'm telling you, like, for people who are extroverts, they don't really get it. You know, they enjoy being around people. They enjoy, you know, the mix, basically. But I feel like my introvertness really kicked in when I moved. You know, I used to live in the city, so, like, everything was right there. I was always outside because my cousins lived down the street. My cousin lived around the block. My grandma lived around the block. My aunt lived up the street. Like, always had people around. I was always out, you know, I was always outside, like, but at the same time, I was still an introvert because I was the quiet one, you know, but when I, when I moved to the suburbs, it was kind of like a culture shock, you know, like, there's no corner stores, there's no bus schools at any corner, I don't know nobody out here, I don't I have to church the schools, and I don't know that nobody's in my school. That was when I really started to, like, not fuck with nobody. I went to school, you know, I went, I church with schools, and when I went in there, the first thing that I said to myself is that I'm not gonna fuck with nobody that go here at all. Those are my words. And I tried to stick to that. I was perfectly fine being alone, you feel me? But people came up to me, they kept trying to talk, but I was still like, People really don't know how to take introverts. They don't know how to take you being silent. They think that you being silent means that you're plotting against them. They think that you being silent means that you don't fuck with them. They think that you being silent means that you a weirdo. Because people will give me the hardest time while being quiet. Why don't you talk? Why don't you talk? I'm just here. I'm minding my business. That's it. You know, like, I'm not bothering you. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm just in here minding my business. Thinking about what I'm going to eat when I get home from school. Like, that's it. Another thing that you got to deal with is trying to maintain friendships. I, I don't know what it is. But for my friends who are introverts, we really understand each other. They know that I don't talk to people. They know that I don't fuck with nobody. They know that I don't go out. They know that I don't answer my phone. And when I'm at home, I be in my room. I do my videos, and that's it. People on the outside, they just think that that's weird. People, just, they just don't know how to take being an introvert. I will get phone calls and text messages like, Yeah, Mark, so you barely hit me up. You barely want to make plans with me. Every time you make plans, you cancel. So, is we still friends? Yeah, like, we still cool, but, like, I don't really need to talk to you every day. People don't understand that. I don't need to talk to you every day. At all. At all. I don't need to talk to you every day. But is that important? And I don't know. <laughs> Another part about being an introvert is, like, the hassle of making plans. Making plans with me is, like, dead-ass annoying. <laughs> it's dead-ass annoying. Especially if you really want to go out. Because I'm the type of person where you make plans with me like two weeks in advance. When that day come, I can't. Why? Because I don't feel like going. I gotta be in the mood to want to go out. You know, like, I gotta be reach out. Welcome to you. <laughs> Alright, go downstairs. I'm in the middle of a minute. Can you stop? <laughs> I'll be down there in a minute. Okay? Be careful. I didn't stop my toe. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Alright. Be careful. What was I saying? Oh yeah. You gotta make plans with me while my social battery is like still recharging. Or while I still charge. And that's the thing, like, I'll dead ass call. I'll dead ass call it. They're gonna be like, well bro, I can't go because, you know, mom's car broke down and you know I now know how I'm gonna get there. It makes me feel better when other people cancel the plans because it's like I never wanted to go anyway. So like it's really lit. <laughs> it's dead ass letting people cancel plans for me because like I don't be wanting to go in the first place. So when you call and be like, Yeah, so like so um you know plans that we make before, you know, they're canceled, you know, it's just some things that's not working out, you know, I'll have to wait to get there and you know 
have another engagement, so like, not be able to go, but it's gonna be okay, we're gonna make plans again. <laughs> It be lit, like I'm telling you, like when you cancel plans on me, it's good. But when you finally convince yourself to go out, and when you go out with a friend and they bring another friend, you gotta like tell me in advance, like I'm bringing this person, so I gotta prepare myself to be around this person. But if you tell me, oh, it's gonna be me and you, and then I come and pick you up and you got another person with you, I'm gonna be like, bro, I, I kinda feel like you ambushed me be social with, 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 with other people who I necessarily don't know, who I necessarily don't fuck with. I always get that regret. Like, anytime I go out, I always get that regret. And if it's not that, then I'm ready to go in like five minutes. Well, I'll be so tight when I do that. I'll go somewhere, I'll be there for like five to 20 minutes, and I'll be like, I'm ready to go. It pisses me off when people walk up to me and be questioning me about why I'm minding my business. It's like, nigga, I'm just here. Like, people used to give me the hardest fucking time. Like, that ass. People used to give me the hardest time. Like, bro, you don't never... Always oh, acting like weird, you know. We be having a conversation, we just get quiet because I don't got nothing to talk about. If you say something to me, I'll respond back, but I ain't got nothing to talk about. And I'm not going to. If I got nothing to talk about, I'm just going to say silent because I'm not just going to keep talking and talking and talking about shit that I. that doesn't make sense. But I feel like we have an extrovert friend sometimes, they try to change me. It just always turned into you need to do this, you need to do that. You need more social, you need to start talking. You need to start coming out the house more. Like, whoa, pump your brakes. I don't need to do shit. That's you. You need to mind your goddamn business. Like, me being an introvert shouldn't have to bother nobody. Nobody. Like, it shouldn't bother anybody. If you ask me, being an introvert is like the safest way to live. Like, that's all I gotta say. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Yeah, that's about it, man.